the blocks themselves then are going to have all these laterals and in this case I've drawn in there's nine laterals at say I had 450 gallons a minute in a block, each lateral would run 50 gallons a minute. So I'd have 50 gallons a minute coming down this lateral. Well again I can size my manifold because the manifold itself is going to have different flows. It starts at 50 for this piece of the manifold, then the next piece is at 100, the next piece is 150, and then the next piece is at 200, and then the middle one hits right on the valve. So the manifold doesn't have to be as big a pipe as the main line because the most flow I have in any direction in the, la in the manifold is half of what I have coming in from the main line. So the manifold can be smaller and I can also downsize because I'm starting to lose water as I go out with my laterals. As I drop off laterals, I reduce the total volume of water being used in the manifold. So I could size the manifold smaller pipe out at the end and bigger pipe toward the valve. So that can be done. That's a thing that is very common. Then the laterals, they lose water all the way down the line. I started at 50 gallons a minute here, but the first sprinkler head's going to reduce it to an amount. Say they're two and a half gallon a minute nozzles. Well, I'd be down to 47 and a half gallons a minute after the first sprinkler. The second sprinkler, I'd be down to 45. And so on until the very last sprinkler, I only got two and a half gallons a minute having to be delivered down here. Now it doesn't make sense to have pipe that can handle 50 gallons a minute down here where it's only delivering two and a half. So I'm going to size down the pipe as I go down the line. Now we don't do that in hand line just because of the concept of hand line. Everything's done as portable so it doesn't matter where the pipe ends up in the loop. If it's at the front of the line one time, it could be at the end of the line another. Depends on how it gets stacked on the cart. When you move it from one site to another, you end up having to have all the same size hand line. And that last sprinkler head and hand line might only have two and a half, three, five gallons a minute coming out of it and you got a three inch pipe. Well that's overkill. But for the simplicity of being able to operate that system, you just about have to have all the same size pipe. When we go put this thing in permanent underground solid set, then we can be a lot more sophisticated. We can start sizing that down. We might start here at two inch, go to inch and a half, inch and a quarter, one inch, even three quarter, even, in, even one half inch. So we have that option to size down as we go out the lateral. It would be somewhat pound foolish to have all two inch pipe when at the end it's only delivering two and a half gallons a minute. Why spend that kind of money when you don't need to? Now some areas of the country, interestingly, will size all the way down to half inch. Other In the Northwest, when I mean, you go up to Wenatchee and they will size, they'll start and they will size down every step all the way out. You go over here to Pasco, most of those people will go maybe three sizes. They might go two inch to inch and a quarter to one. Or two to inch and a half to one inch. They'll only go three sizes. A little more simplistic for putting in the system. You don't have to have as many and various fittings. See, that's one of the things you're doing. You're putting in, well, we only have to have one inch fittings, inch and a half fittings, and two inch fittings. And there are some people who just put it all in one size. That way they only have one fitting to worry about. Uh, don't see that happen too often anymore. Most people are a little more sophisticated. But you can certainly reduce the price of the overall project by downsizing. The trick is not to downsize so much that you start creating a friction loss problem. You got to keep the size up big enough so that you don't have a lot of friction loss at any given incremental step down that line. Now that's another class another time. Every one of you in here is going to be taking a design class and you will learn how to do this very well next year. We'll all be in class together and we'll all do that right here in this room and learn how to do all that sizing. And, but that's, uh, that takes two weeks.
to get to that point, to understand the hydraulics of all of that piping.